Scott, thank you for joining us. Obviously a difficult result here this afternoon. How would you assess your side's performance? Yeah, obviously disappointed with the outcome of the game. Um, you know, but it's not going to define what, what we're going to do moving forward. Um, you know, we're still in a really good position and we've got some really good games to come and we look forward to them. You know, it's a difficult place to come. Um, you know, and, and the manner of the goals that we conceded was disappointing. <coughs> But we wipe our mouth and move on, you know, and we've got to move on really quickly. Yeah, as you say, this is a tough place to come. There's a reason that Wrexham are <coughs> fighting at the top end of the table. Was it too much gone wrong too quickly when we conceded those two early goals, do you think? Yeah, it was not. It, it, listen, it's a tough place to come and we wanted to uh, ask more questions of them. You look at at least three of their goals was inside our six-yard box and we never got in their six-yard box once. Um, probably once where we flashed it across the face of goal. Um, but yeah, probably the two goals would come really close together. The first two come close together. So disappointing with that. Yeah, slightly uncharacteristic <coughs> from us considering the last two games where we've scored eight goals. It feels strange to not come away from here. Well, sorry, we did come obviously come away with a goal. But <coughs> as you say, we didn't perhaps challenge Wrexham enough as we did. Is that one of the biggest disappointments for you? Um, you've got to sometimes give the opposition credit. Um, you know, we, we had a lot of possession. We got kind of to the edge of the box and... We often puffed a little bit around the edge of their box <coughs> and we found it how to break them down and sometimes you've got to give them credit, they're a good defensive outfit and we, we, we made changes at the top of the pitch to see if that could unlock a little bit, um, you know, and we wanted to score, um, which eventually we did, too little too late by then, you know, and yeah, it was a difficult night for us, but like I say, we're not going to let that kind of define our season because it won't. Yeah, it seemed that it must have been frustrating, you know, having gone two goals down, you know, early in the second half and that early in the first half, sorry, and then it seemed that Wrexham were very happy to sort of sit with sort of nine, ten men behind the ball in every attack we had. So I can imagine that must have been frustrating when we used to sort of, you know, picking teams off really. No, they play like that when you're nil-nil. They play like that. They play with men behind the ball when you're nil-nil. Um, but what they do really well, and you saw it from from them, in, certainly with the second goal, was our long throw. Um, we turned the ball over in their kind of, of the final third of the pitch and every single player for them run. You know, they run really hard and fast and we didn't match them for that in that moment. Um, consequently, they go and score a second goal two, three minutes after they scored the first one. It becomes hard then. Um, but no, listen, they've, they've got a, a way of, of playing, um, which is, you know, um, very effective, obviously, because of where they are in, in the division. They've got some very good players. They're very strong, athletic, um, and they're good at what they do. But I think we're good at what we do. But we fell short tonight, unfortunately. Yeah, four big games to go, as you've already touched on. Was that the message to the lads? Just sort of dust yourselves down, you know, pick yourselves up because we've got some <coughs> exciting games to look forward to and there's still a great chance that we can push for those playoff places. You know, it's a brilliant chance that we can. And, and listen, there was no harsh words said in there. We just let's go, let's get, get in the shower and get back down the road and and recover and look forward to another another good game for us on, on Saturday against Colchester. We're really looking forward to it already. This game's gone. It's gone in my mind. I probably won't even watch this one back um, because we've got too much work to do moving forward now and we have to look forward. Yeah, I suppose there's still plenty to be positive about after the last few performances. I'm sure many, I know you're very greedy and you would have liked nine points out of the three away games, but I'm sure many people on paper would have taken six out of the nine of the three remaining away that we've just had. These next few games, they can be big for us, can't they? Just to make it really clear, I didn't, I, I, I wouldn't accept losing here. I wanted to come here. Listen, this is a fantastic football club, unbelievable fan base, great players, great manager. They've done brilliant here, but I really back my team to come here and win. Um, and that's what we set out to do for sure. Didn't unfold that way. Um, but yeah, we, we set up to win in every game. And, you know, whilst we, we felt that this is a tough place to come and a big ask, we still backed ourselves to come and win here today. My, I'll back my players against anybody at this, at this level of football. We fell short tonight. Um, but like I say, it's not going to define what we do moving forward. 316 fans, they've obviously enjoyed some great success on the road this season. We saw, you know, a tweet went out earlier. We're probably the most informed side on the road in 2024 of the top four divisions. That's no mean feat. You know, brilliant support again, wasn't it? Yeah, it was brilliant support and just a shame that we didn't give them obviously something to, to go down the road and cheer about. So um, disappointed with that. But yeah, really, really appreciate their support. And, you know, they've been fantastic all season. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Cool. 
Jeremy, thank you for joining us. Obviously a difficult result here in Wrexham tonight. Can I get your reflection on the game first? Yeah, it's a tough one. Uh, you always want to do well, especially the spot we're in, especially coming here to Wrexham. You know, it's a it's a fun game to play in. It's a fun atmosphere. I don't think we played too badly. I think we're just a little loose and they're clinical on the counter. Um, so I, I don't think we can take too long to pick ourselves back up because we've got some big games. We're still in it. Yeah, as Scott said, sometimes you do have to give a bit of credit to the opposition. Wrexham obviously did their jobs very well tonight. They, you know, two quick fire goals. It makes it very difficult for us, doesn't it, after after that to come back and they seem very happy to sort of sit back. So it must have been pretty frustrating. It was, and you know, we knew we were going to do that. They were going to do that, um, but we just can't give them the opportunity to go two goals up and sit in and do exactly what they want, you know. And um, we knew that coming in, so that's on us. Um, but it's all right. We'll move on, and um, it's all to play for. Yeah, we've had some great success on the road of late, as we just said to the gaffer. We were the best side in the top four divisions this year, this calendar year, which is no mean feat when you consider some of the other sides battling for, for that praise as well. So, you know, there's plenty to be positive about. We've had some great away victories recently, and this is just sort of a little bump in that road. And we, as you say, need to dust ourselves down, and we've got plenty of games to be excited for, don't we? Yeah, I mean, it would have been lovely to beat Mansfield and then come here and get another three points. That would have put us in a great spot, but we're still in a very good spot. Um, and you're right, we, we have done brilliant away from home. Um, we were hoping to keep it going, but today just wasn't our day. And yeah, you got to give them credit, they were clinical. Yeah, some big games to look forward to. It's only four left now. Obviously, since you've come in in January, you know, you've made your way into the team and you've sort of kept your starting spot. How much have you been enjoying it with us? Oh, it's been brilliant. You know, to be in a promotion fight is, uh, is exactly what I wanted. And um, every game means something, and the intensity of every game is up there. And um, that's all you can ask when you come over here and it's my first time experiencing it so it's been great. Yeah and have you been settling with the lads you seem to have created some good relationships with them on the pitch how's it going off the pitch as well? Yeah I know they've been very welcoming and uh, it's been easy to get adjusted and um, it's obviously easier when results are going your way um, but no it's been a lot of fun. Yeah and finally how much are you looking forward to these final four games as you say with, with it literally all to play for? Just the fact that every game game means so much is uh, that's the biggest difference between the U.S. and here. Um, so every game you really, um, for 90 minutes, have to have a full intensity, and um, that's something that you can't replicate. Thank you, Jeremy. Cool.